So in one of my previous videos, we had a look at this King 60 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, and we found during our teardown some issues with this battery. Now, if you want to see those issues, the video is on my channel, so go ahead and watch that video. So what it's got me to wonder is, well, what are the bigger batteries like? So in my power box here, I have one of the King's 120 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries, and I want to pull it apart. So I've taken the battery out of the battery box. Now I've got pretty high hopes for what I'm going to see inside this battery because I've got two more of these that I use in my 24 volt system and both of those batteries have performed flawlessly under high current draw every single day and are holding their capacity. I have my trusty King's knife to get in here and pull it apart so I shouldn't void warranty, right? A few moments later. Okay, so I ended up having to use my oscillating tool. So yeah, I've had to void the warranty. And I didn't realize that if you look in here, you can see these little plugs here. Well, they got screws. And I thought, good one, Glenn. You could have made it easier for yourself. And here you go. However, before we go any further, they also have glued the lid, so I still had to cut this. So if you're gonna pull one of these apart, yeah, these have screws on, make a note for next time. Okay, so this is what we're looking at inside here. Actually, it's not looking too bad, I will say. And we have QR codes on the cells here, so we're gonna to have to have a look at those. Now I will say, I am not that, I'm in my mid 50s, I'm not up with the latest of app technology so for me to work out how to scan those and so on is not that easy I, I guess I'd have to have a QR code scanner or something or I don't know I'll look into it anyway let's move on so this is what we're looking at we've got our cells in here with our blocks holding it together I cannot see any issues at all uh, balance leads are going on to the cells. We've got some glue here holding these uh, nut, uh, nuts tight. We've got some silicon coated uh, cable. I'm not sure what thickness those cables are. Let's have a look here. So one of the issues that one of the other uh, YouTube channels had, they had a loose connection here. Um, so I will check that. But we have some glue there, and have we got any glue there? Yeah, we've got some glue there to hold those connections so they don't come loose. So they're looking like they're uh, definitely putting some thought into it. Okay, I want to get this battery, get the cells out. You want me to get the cells out, so let me go ahead and do that. Many months later. So there we have it. I have it out of the case and boy was that hard to get it off this pad. This pad had those cells glued down nice and hard. I had to cut the outer uh, case apart. So let us have a look around the battery. I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing. I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. Bar one little thing that uh, probably shouldn't be where it is, but we'll look at that in a sec. So looking at all our connections for the balance leads, we can see they've been glued in place, so they're not going to be able to vibrate out. All our balance leads are on their places that they should be. The temperature sensor, now there it is. There's my temperature sensor. You can see the temperature sensor that has been bonded onto the cell that's what I like to see it's a personal thing that battery the sensor was just floating around underneath that card this one they have bonded it on to the cell that's one good thing that's what I personally like to see so I'm liking what I'm seeing here on the battery this is the only thing if I had to pick on something these are your pressure release valves here like this and this block here 
this foam packing block is over the top of two of those pressure release valves. So yeah, Neiman's just taken the uh, the top off there. You can see that there. So hmm, I'm going to have to get that off somehow. So that is the uh, the only thing I could pick. You, you, you do need these clear if they uh, need to vent. Now, the QR code, let's see if I can get my phone to... Uh, let, let me see if I can get some good exposure here. Excuse for the... Uh, there we go. Have we got that focused? There's the QR code. If you want to scan that, I'll have a go at scanning that myself as well. And that'll give us an idea on... Uh, hopefully of what cells they have used. Now, if I can get, if I can lift this up like this, I'm going to show you the BMS. So here's some details. Let's see if we can get some exposure. Now, let me turn this light off because I'm getting some reflection off that light. Uh, yeah, that's better. Okay, so that is the information on the BMS for those people that want to scan that. So just going around these cells, I'm looking for any bulging and they are flat as anything like that. So there's no, there's no bulging or swelling at all from these cells. So, uh, oh, okay, so I can't see that side, but uh, no damage on the corners, which is what we saw on the, the this battery here for those that... And I'm wondering the damage that we saw we can see here. So we're not seeing that in the uh, bigger battery. Sorry about the shaky footage. So I'm armed with my trusty multimeter. So let's have a look at this cell here, cell number one. So that voltage is coming back at 3.33 volts. Cell number two, that one is coming back at 3.33 volts as well. So cell number three and four, I just need to move this across here. So cell number three, that has come back as 3.33 volts. And let's guess what cell number four comes back at. It's coming back at 3.33 volts. That is perfect in the cell balancing. So I really am happy with what I'm seeing in this battery, short of the block, being on top of those pressure release valves, that's the only real thing that I can pick. Now, maybe in another video we can do a capacity test and so on on this, but with what I'm seeing for this teardown video, I am definitely giving this a thumbs up. Like I said, I've got two other ones of those batteries in the 24 volt system. They've been going for what would be probably about seven or eight months now, and they get heavy discharged every single day and they just keep on trucking so i've got to give kings well done kings i've got to give you a thumbs up for the 120 amp power lithium ion iron iron how it's said battery so if you like the video give it a thumbs up or leave a comment below and wait for the next awesome video that's coming out on the off-grid channel